Jay Christensen. In this special edition of 60 Minutes, me and my colleague Nate Samuelson will take an in-depth look at the life of Sam Sheldon and his love for stocks. Sam, dude. Oh, what's up? Good to see you, man. All right, so we're here at Matamida. Not the greatest day out. Yeah. I could tell Sam was very optimistic about the interview when I met with him outside of Matamida High School. Nate even got a chance to sit down with him and ask him some personal questions. What can you tell me about your early life with stocks? Well, uh, it started off as a young child. I was on the um, uh, E-Trade commercials as a baby. Luckily, though, I, you know, I can conceal this bad boy underneath my blanket just so I can get on E-Trade, check my investment portfolio, research stocks. Wait, wh why are you taking... Oh, I see. Solitary. Then, a little bit older, when I was about nine years old, met uh, Jim Cramer. Me and him are great friends. We go way back. Let's go to Sam in Minnesota. Sam! Booyah, Jim from St. Paul. Yo, good to have you. I was wondering what your opinion is on RBS. All right, I stick by RBS. And then as, when I was six years old, I uh, started my own hedge fund. Managed that for a while. That was kind of fun. Uh, made a million, you know, whatever. Sam told me that a few million to him is like nothing. His success over the past few years has brought him much fame. So Sam, uh, can you tell us what you're doing here today? Well, apparently I made the Forbes list. Then I do a little photo shoot, whatever. It's taking too much time. Once Sam made the cover of Forbes magazine, he instantly was recognized as a global economic icon. Last November, Sam made a special appearance in Rick Ross's new music video, So Sophisticated. Be sophisticated, purchase a whip for me and never miss a single payment. I'm from the city where the Muslims even Christian say it. Even the black folk get to see another made it. Tell all them chill, champagne refrigerated. More on Sam after these messages. Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying this special edition of 60 Minutes on Sam Sheldon. Let's continue taking a look at his life and how he became so successful, shall we? This is my trophy for being me here at the school. Even with all of his success, Sam still remains a humble, well-rounded guy. What can you tell me about your obsession with the Packers? I hear you're quite a Clay Matthews fan. Well, how can you be? He's a winner, you know? Uh, Vikings suck. I have to live in Minnesota. Um, everyone here sucks, but, you know, Packers, they bring home the uh, Super Bowls and, you know, put on the championship belt. You gotta be a, gotta be a Packer fan. No matter what you say to Sam about the Packers, he is never phased. Dude, Packers suck. Get out of here. <laughs> Even the Green Bay Packers recognize Sam as an economic genius. And occasionally they'll ask him to break them down before games. Let's go. Stocks on three. Ready? One, two, three. Stocks. So what can you tell me about your plans in the near future as far as college goes? MIT, you know, they want me, obviously, full ride, all that. But, you know, they're not, they're not that great. They're not, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, Harvard tried. I'm not going to Harvard. I'm not a peasant. Many people wonder why Sam would turn down such great offers, and Sam simply replies to them. A lot of professors don't know what they're talking about. So I hear you're actually basically everyone's finance guy here. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Can change for 20? 20's our change, bro. I've heard uh, you've done quite a few of the faculty's taxes as well, tax returns and things like that. Yeah, you know, a little stuff like that. It doesn't take much time. Pretty easy uh, just to help them out. But uh, now I'm going to a more national level. Uh, back uh, in January, I uh, saved the country from the fiscal cliff. The fiscal cliff negotiation. So-called fiscal cliff. That impact our entire country. The strategic gain for House Republicans. You know, I'm going to pull us out of this uh, government shutdown, balance the budget, put us back on track. After interviewing Sam and talking to a lot of students, I think what we've noticed most is that everyone really appreciates him saving us from the fiscal cliff. He single-handedly saved us from the fiscal cliff and helped us out of the financial crisis. Way to go, Sam. That's pretty incredible. When people think of the name Sam Sheldon, what comes to their mind first? Major wheels. Like I'm talking mining truck wheels, big wheels. Uh, very into stocks. He's a ladies man. He's telling me everything I know pretty much. He's very jacked. Very muscular. Like me. I think he has a bromance with uh, Clay Matthews. He takes his lady friends to Mickey's. I always like to be naked. The stocks. The stocks. Uh, I think he likes stocks. The stock market's starting to get to him. 
His name's Patrick. It's not Sam. Get that straight. He's a pretty crazy dude, you know? He's pretty into his stocks. Oh my gosh, Matamidi High School is so fortunate to have a student like Sam here. All right, so we have Hank here, also a student at Matamidi. And Hank, what can you tell us about Sam Sheldon? Well, I just joined Sam Sheldon's stock club and I'm really excited about it because then I can learn all kinds of new things. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Sam? So Derek, what do you think of Sam Sheldon? He's a total bro. Sam's pretty cool. Sheldon's a great kid. Yes, Sam Sheldon's an awesome guy. Oh, well, you know, Sam's the bro. We just chill the time he stopped. He's babbling every time he talks. Well, what people don't know about Sam is he has a real sensitive side. Basically, he's in the stocks. Football and baseball, all those fun sports, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this special edition of 60 Minutes. Join us next time and have a good evening. This is the money man. This is the money man right here. <laughs>